Well, new at 10, a Frazier woman safe tonight after her family says she was beaten and then disappeared. Chelsea Buckhannon couldn't be found for hours. WREG's Michael Quander is live at 201 Poplar tonight after talking to Chelsea's family. And Michael, Memphis police at one time listed her as an endangered missing person about 3.30 this afternoon. What's her family saying about what happened to her? Well, Stephanie, they say her boyfriend beat her up and then tore up her house. They, the family says that it was just so bad that when this woman went missing, police were this close from investigating this case as a homicide. I honestly, I thought my sister was dead. Chelsea Pagannon's family found her front door open, glass broken, and her Frasier home ransacked. And she wasn't here and she wasn't answering the phone calls or anything like that. Loved ones feared the worst as police issued this citywide alert that Pagannon had gone missing. We have been stressed all day crying all day. Neighbors say Buchanan was heard screaming late Friday night and early Saturday morning. They say her boyfriend allegedly beat her. They were fighting and he was last seen dragging her. Neighbors say the woman was dragged down this hallway at the Overton Garden Apartments around one in the morning before she disappeared. She just ran. He was trying to hurt her. And she just ran. She ran until she couldn't run no more. Bleeding and bruised began and eventually turned up thanks to the help of MPD. But her family says their situation shines a much brighter light on just how bad domestic violence is in our city. These days, yes, people are hurting each other and really for no reason. So a boyfriend to kill a girlfriend, that's nothing. Her family says they want this mother of two to get the help she needs and wants police to get her attacker off the streets. I hope that he's arrested and I, we're going to uh, try to keep him away from her. To have her actually to come back to us and be getting some help and we're not planning a funeral, I just can't do nothing, thank God. No, that family also wanted to thank the men and women in this building. They said MPD was on top of this and very concerned. Now, we also want to tell you that the woman's two children were not in the house at this time, and they're okay. We'll be sure to keep you posted on this story. But for now, we have you covered live in downtown Memphis at the CJC tonight. Michael Quander, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Michael. Good to hear she is safe tonight.